Hello everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel Mission Net Physics Exam. And guys, today we are going to talk about the another very important point for our upcoming CSIR Net gate and the other similar exams preparation. Now, what is that point? That is exactly going to be about the exam preparation. So, there is a most common question asked by the students, those who do the preparation for the upcoming exam. Uh, and they are either doing the preparation for CSR net exam or for gate exam or for GIST or for TFR or for even IIT jam done. It's a most common question among the students. That is, is it enough to solve the previous year questions or do we also need to solve some other questions? And if we need to solve the other questions, then from where we can take them, we can consider them. Okay, so that's what we are going to discuss today. So the question is, the first one I'm going to answer that is it enough or is it okay if somebody solves the previous year questions of that particular exam or even uh, some other exams. So I'm going to answer it first of all. The answer is yes, it's okay and it is very important and it is something which you should not miss. You should try to solve all those previous year questions related to the topics you are covering and you are considering that that will be okay and enough uh, for scoring good marks that is a kind of selection can be done or otherwise the overall all the questions you have to or you should try to solve clear and this is going to provide you the exact idea about the same exam you are doing the preparation for so yeah it's 100% uh, okay as well as it's important and necessary to consider now the next thing is uh, what else can be done? So that is if you are having the other similar exam previous year question papers like if you are doing the preparation for CSIR net exam it is suggested that you should also try to solve the gate exam previous year question papers along with that because they can even help you to work on more questions as well as to get the idea about the more important points from the similar topics. So it's important and expected. Clear? and uh, it is something you can consider so it's in the same way even if you are having the questions from just exam from other similar exams you can even try to do them it will be helpful and this is something which will be helping you to get the more better idea about the topics and to have more better knowledge about the topics too next thing uh, that's okay we have talked about the previous year questions their importance how they can help you and what other exam question papers can be considered along with the particular exam questions which we are uh, considering and for which exam we are doing the preparation. The next thing is what else we can do and we need to consider. So if anybody is there who wants to consider the other things, other questions as well except the previous year question papers questions, the one thing I would like to add here is if you were solving some previous year question papers questions and you were finding some of the questions difficult there, the first and the most important thing for you to consider is to repeat those questions to solve the questions which you were finding difficult again and again. They will help you to have a better command and the uh, like good confidence about those topics and the concepts based on which you were having the questions and you were making mistake in them uh, initially. You were finding them different okay or they were difficult for you so repeat them it's very important for you after considering this part if you are now ready to work on the other questions too so from the standard reference books uh, which are suggested and which you can consider to do the preparation for the uh, same subject okay you can do their uh, solved questions, their practice questions, it can be considered. But you have to be careful about one thing that there you will have so many different different uh, type of questions and if you are not covering the complete book or each and every topic from the book, you have to be careful about this part that you have to do the selection of the topics which you are covering and considering, okay? And you have to just go for the questions related to them. Otherwise, if you will be going and checking out each and every question present there in the book, when you are not doing the preparation of the whole book, you are not completing each and everything from the book, you may get confused about the concepts involved in those questions which are from some other topic which you have not prepared for your exam. So you have to be careful in doing the selection of the questions which you will be doing from the standard reference books. Otherwise, that's completely all right and you can do the questions or take the questions from the standard reference books too other than your previous year question papers. 
or even any other book you are going to refer to do the preparation from that book you can practice the questions if you just want to make the good command but again be careful it should be related to the topics you are com uh, completing and covering for your exam so that you will not get confused and you will easily be able to uh, like get the idea about the related topics which are important for the exam as well so guys i hope now each and everything is clear to you and i hope that you got the clear idea about this question as well so we are going to keep it this much right now in this video and uh, if you are new on this channel that is mission net physics exam you can subscribe this channel by clicking on the subscribe button below this video and don't forget to hit the like button uh, along with that uh, the bell icon you will get after clicking on the subscribe button below the video so that you will keep on getting the notification for the new videos i will keep on uploading here you can also share this video with your friends too so that they will be able to get the idea about these important points as well now if there is anybody who wants to do the best preparation under the guidance of top educators then they can even take the unacademy iconic or unacademy plus subscription you can see the benefits which you will be getting if you will take the iconic subscription then what are the benefits you will get and the plus subscription then what are the benefits you will be getting all that has been shown here on the slide if you will take the light subscription then what are the benefits you will get and the difference between the unacademy plus and the iconic subscription have been shown here on the slide too now guys whenever you will proceed further to take the subscription you can use and apply the referral code that's anjali a live as mentioned here on the screen so that you will be able to get the discount in the total unacademy subscription amount to take the subscription you can download the unacademy learning app or you can directly search unacademy plus on google and you can proceed further to take the subscription even in upcoming days so many new courses by the top educators will also be starting on unacademy which will be helping you to do the best preparation for your upcoming exam as well so i hope each and everything is now clear to you and you can proceed further to do the best preparation for the exam thank you so much everyone for watching this video till the end all these are the important slides regarding the unacademy subscription i'm showing you right now and i hope they are making everything clear to you done Let's keep it this much right now. Thank you so much everyone for watching this video till the end. And yeah, as if you are new on this channel, you can subscribe the channel and you can share this video with your friends too so that they will be getting the important ideas about their exam preparation. Thank you everyone.